Hey guys, my name is Sediac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we're now witnessing the train um, leaving Leeds on the way to Manchester. The people, the train's now invisible but the people are now floating. How does that work? <laughs> which we're now in Manchester, baby. Uh, which it then eventually goes all the way on to Liverpool. Now I'm not quite sure what's happening here but there seems to be buildings building in our train line are, are you guys okay what's going on here this is surely not safe could you imagine sitting down having your breakfast right now and you look out the window going ah what a glorious morning and see a train hurtling towards you at like 100 kilometers an hour oh my goodness me you'll be slightly having brown trousers that morning but anyway guys we are back right now and last episode we did some serious expansions we Fully extended the line uh, from Birmingham all the way up to Leeds. We linked up Liverpool all the way down to Leeds as well. Both of them kind of uh, pretty much stop at Leeds. But we have one line that's going to continue and eventually stop off at Scarborough. And then the line that comes from Birmingham will eventually kind of turn into our big northern route as it heads eventually all the way up to Scotland. Now, at this moment in time, we are making some serious cash. And with that serious cash, I've done some serious kind of expansions and changes you'll notice that there's not really that much traffic now within birmingham before we had huge backlogs i mean you could argue there's a little bit there but it's nothing too crazy and we've got a little bit as it's now exiting out but i upgraded a lot of the roads and their capacities to kind of really like funnel traffic out and you can kind of see that quite a lot within london now london only really has a little bit of traffic here and across this bridge it's kind of always had it but since I've upgraded like four lane roads leading up, I've upgraded this to a six lane road. It's really pushed a lot of the traffic out of here. We're still going to get it. It's a huge metropolis area. But we've really kind of like um, broken it down slightly. And hopefully our vehicles driving around can finally do their job. Well, anyway, guys, if you are enjoying Transport Fever 2, then make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new, if you want to see more episodes so you get notified. But we've got some big, big expansions yet to come. So... First things first, let me just check our current lines. The only ones that are not really making the big cash right now is our Liverpool loop and our Birmingham outer loop. Now, why is our Birmingham outer loop not making money? It does occasionally make money, but then it goes for a little bit of a period where it doesn't make money. Are we confident enough that the stops for the outer loop... Do I need... I mean, there's, there's, there's a load of people here just chilling. And there. I think we might need an extra tram on there. I'm trying to see how busy they currently are. They're not really that busy. So I think it's when it's those moments where you have to wait for it to kind of reach the outer areas. Well, I'm not going to stress too much. But let's move on with some big, big expansions. So, today then, I want to kind of extend that Liverpool to Leeds and event, well, pretty much expand it all the way to Scarborough. So it goes from Liverpool to Scarborough and back. So that's one additional station. And I want to take a look at trying to build up some industries as well. Now, the only industry that we do have up and running is the wood industry over here, which, you know, it's getting its wood. It's doing what it needs to do, but not really much is going on. We have the industry over here, which we kind of switched it out, so we got more ore coming in. Now we've got too much ore, so we need to add a few extra carriages onto our coal train. So by that logic, we could produce, at the moment, we can only produce steel and um, wooden planks. I mean, you can use that and utilize it to do something like, I think there's an industry over here, yeah, to produce machines, which is something like Birmingham requires. So does Cambridge, so does Oxford, so does Bristol. So there's a fair few cities that require machines. That's something that we could kind of hook up, but I don't think that is the best positioning for those. So we might need to look at other areas, but it should be pretty fun. Right, let's first kind of sort out Scarborough. Now, the train line currently ends here. And what we'll do, we'll get to bend and wrap around and end in a station just here. But there is this slight little hilly mountain that I need to sort out. So if I increase the brush size then, Go quite big, increase the strength, and what are we on there? That's flatten. Flatten or smoothing? Smoothing is going to take way too long, so we'll go for a slight little flatten. Well, let's pause the game slightly. And we're flattening it for the point of we can build a train station and bring the rail line in. So now I will do some smoothing to make it look semi-normal. So we just slightly push the mountain or the... I ain't going to call it a mountain. It's more of a hill. We slightly push the hill back and you wouldn't even know the difference. 
Now, I did notice there's a huge cliff here in Scarborough <laughs> where the road just completely hangs over. Let's do some more smoothing around anyway, so it's a bit more friendly to build in this town. Because once we bring the train line in, it's going to go for a little bit of an expansion growth. I can feel it, boys. I can feel it. So, train stations then. It's just going to be a standard train station. Nothing too crazy. And passenger. Rotar here. I could do an end station, but I'm going to do this side one. Whoa, what happened there? We're going to do this side one right now. There we go, because the entry point's in the middle, and we have a larger radius in which we can collect people from. So, place you there. I know it deletes some buildings, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good at the end of the day. And then, in terms of the roads, we'll extend this road now. Moving up to here. So, it just kind of continues the connection. Can I get this to connect in? Just to there. I'm just trying to get areas. I don't think we can be able to do this. No, it's too much of a slope. Look at that. That's a ridiculous hill. Right, we'll leave that, though. Because I feel like that's a kind of nice little kind of unique selling point to the town. You, you can live on the hill and overlook everything. It's amazing and beautiful views of the sea. Uh, anyway, we need to add in additional train lines right now or tracks. So it's a different type of track I've currently got here. So I might need to slightly upgrade it. Now, we don't technically need two platforms, even though I'm going to add the two platforms in anyway. I don't need to do a bypassing route because it is the end station on the line. So it's a bit different to how you would normally build stations in the middle. Can I not un... What's going on here? I'm on upgrade mode, aren't I? Can we not, like, upgrade the train track? Fine, I didn't want to upgrade it anyway. <laughs> right, bring this all the way in. Now, it does want to tunnel it, which I don't find that a bad idea, to be honest with you. Again, another unique selling point. You know, you get into Scarborough and you come out of the last tunnel. That's what that's what the people that's what they'll say, boys. That's what the people would say. Right. So it is high speed rail anyway. So there's no stress. There's no stress. I can use the tools to upgrade it this way. I should have done it that way, shouldn't I? But uh, there's no electric, I don't think. Or is there? It pretty much all is the electric, apart from all oh, these over here on. Do they automatically become high speed? They do, don't they? Yeah. A lot of this stuff is not high speed. You can see this route here is not high speed. It's only recently we started to build with high speed train lines. So, the route leading into Leeds, uh, which is this one here. We're going to manage a line, which is, we've also got to change the name of it as well. So, it goes Liverpool to Manchester to Leeds. And at that point there, we then make it go to Scarborough back to Leeds and then to Manchester then back to Liverpool that's pretty much what we do it's on the right and the correct sides of the station which is all good and we actually have to now rename it because it no longer oh hold on oh no uh Liverpool uh to scar Bruh, there we go. It's no longer Liverpool to Leeds, it's Liverpool to Scarborough. So, that's pretty jazzy. It might need a larger train as well, because now we're going to travel some distance. It means that the stations will slowly backlog with passengers. And I could go for these, or I can then slowly start changing to multiple units trains. Now, one of these handles 124 people. Mm, no, we'll stick to our own versions for the for the time being. So 198 capacity. I'll go with it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've now extended that line in Sky uh, Skybra. Scarborough is now open for business. Nice. So with that logic, then we've got that train going back and forth. It might not be enough still, but we'll just kind of see how it gets on. We'll pretty much see how it now gets on. So is there any other lines in which I can add more trains to or just generally more capacity to? Now, the line that goes through here, which is Birmingham to Brighton, that looks like it's completely maxed out. What I could do, Birmingham to Brighton, either a train's just left or just approaching. I'm just checking how many people are on there. There's a lot of people wanting to go towards Cambridge way. Okay, we need more capacity, and at the same time, we need more trains. So if I... If I first replace them for something a little bit newer. So, again, I'm not going down the electric route just yet. We will keep the diesel. 
So we'll go with these. So I'm only really changing the front engine, but we might as well get some brand new um, swanky little passenger carriages. And before their capacity, they had six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So they had 198 capacity in general anyway. So replace it for 33 million. So nothing's really changed there until your boy clones a third train on the line. Now that'll make a huge difference. They'll be a little bit speedier and have one, well, 33% more capacity, if that's how it works. Uh, or 50% more capacity. I don't know how it works with, with uh, percentages there, but y you get the gist of it. Now, what about this line here? Uh, Canterbury to Norwich. You've only got one train on it. And we'll switch the train out. So if I edit it and go for the newer diesel. I'm doing this. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm do Oh, no. Okay, right. Can I replace? There we go. That's, that's better. So I'm replacing the carriages as well because it makes the carriages a little bit more brand new because they're currently 37 years old. So diesel, bam, passenger. So it has four carriages. We'll give this one six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which nearly a 200 capacity. I wonder how much that would change it compared to what we currently do now. Be interesting, right? And then our southern routes. Our southern line right now. Where's the best place to select it? Down here, maybe the southern line. This again could do with some adjustments, as they say. As they say. So they both have six carriages, so if I replace them with the, the default that I've been doing lately. There we go, so replace it with the default. But then give it an extra train. There we go. So that really bulks up the capacity right there uh, of that line. So the next one then is this Birmingham down to, uh, well it's Liverpool to Exeter actually. It's probably one of the longest lines. It's one, two, three, four, five stops in total. And that, again, will sort out the train. So this is just having us, letting us have a little bit of a refresh right now, which is really handy. Uh, wagons. And what I'll do for them as well is we'll put an extra one on the line. Oh, we have this line here as well that goes from Birmingham to Bournemouth. Now, that, again, needs some help. So first things first, we replace it. We have the engine, the passenger cargo, add in six, bam, then duplicate it. Oh, not enough money. Oh, wow. I've just gone through 200 million. <laughs> Do you know what's scary? And what's going to be quite terrifying is um, seeing the graph on how much I've just spent. Seeing the graph on how much money I've probably just spent is probably going to make me cry. But how much is this train anyway? I, I wasn't really paying attention. Can I? Can I? Nope. Still can't duplicate. I've got 16 million in the bank. 19 million? Can't do it. Wow. Okay. Right. We're waiting for some trains to reach some serious destinations to unload a serious amount of passengers to make a serious amount of cash money bula. So, can I see any big trains stopping anywhere right now? I think I see the wood train. If it is the wood train. Yep. i got 20 million. Still can't do it. Back down to 15. Right, there's a train heading towards Canterbury. That should hopefully make some big dollar bills. Uh, we've got 20 million in the bank currently. There's a train on the way down to Brighton right now. So, hopefully these two trains might see us give us, well, give us the money that we are desperately craving right now so as soon as the money comes in the money also drops down with bills and expenses why is it that i've been steadily growing the cash pretty rapidly but now when i need it i don't get it <laughs> i don't get the money at all there we go right i think that's enough train expansions for now that's every line Except the Birmingham to Leeds and Liverpool to Scarborough. Well, actually, technically, we did upgrade this, the Liverpool to Scarborough train. It's not the Birmingham to Leeds train. Right. Let's breathe a little bit easier. And let's kind of check out the graph out. Look at the money I've spent. <laughs> oh, no. Those expenses are high. High. But that's okay. That's okay. Because we're going to keep expanding as we go along anyway. So, industry then. We are transporting now a lot 
uh, of um, ore. We kind of were always transporting more coal, but we had to kind of switch it out. Now, this is our coal train right now, which we are going to also replace this one. We have a diesel. Bam. And cargo-wise, we can get the new gondolas, which this currently doesn't hold the new gondolas. But I've got to be careful because it carries 54 capacity. If I add too much to it, we then flip again where we transport in more coal than ore. And the reason for that is the, the, the coal industry is closer to the factory than the ore industry. So that there gives us eight more capacity. That gives us 80 capacity in total. Do you reckon that will be enough to kind of see the switch? Or should I go for a full shebang of 100? Hmm, I mean at that price, no. <laughs> I can't afford to do it. But it is something that we have to do. It's something that we are going to have to think about doing and getting up and running. And then we can think about where we're going to transport the steel that this industry then produces. So I reckon we'll go for a... Um, oh, do I, sh Should I just go for the full 100 capacity? I think we should. I think we should go for the full 100. It does mean I need 17 million, though. It does mean that your boy needs 17 million, something that I currently do not have. Can you guys uh, drop some more cargo off, please? Oh, I've gone down to 9 million. Oh, 11 million. 12 million. 16. Oh, we close. 17. Oh, no, we were so close. Don't go back down. Don't go back down. Don't go back down. We're so close. We're so close. We're at like 100,000 away. We're 100,000 away. Bam. I got it just at the right second. So that train now coming down. This is the train it's competing against. The ore train, which is so much longer, which it has to be. Because of how further away it is. So as time goes on, the coal train does more journeys than the, the ore train. So it just makes it just makes sense. So this produces steel once we start hooking somewhere up for it to go and we've got a couple of options it can either go to a place that produces goods or it could go to a place that produces machines and if i sort out the requirements you can kind of see there between them all uh what i've currently got so it's either goods or machines now for machines we have one in plymouth newcastle and liverpool so plymouth is down here so there's one down there for machines now, so to work with this, we've also got to bring wood down here. Which, we have a wood plant there. We just have to figure out how we can transport it down. I could also utilize ships. Now, that wouldn't be a bad idea. My other option was Liverpool, which is just here for machines. And the Newcastle, which is just here. Now, for wood for Newcastle, there's plants up in Scotland. Right. There's a wood plant around here. So, I could pick or choose between the two. Now, the other variation for the steel to go somewhere is good factories. There's one in Mullingar. Mullingar, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, Inverness and Canterbury. So, one in Canterbury is right here on the coast as well. So, I could feed this with this, but then the goods require plastic, which comes from oil. I have an oil plant there with... Oh! Steel and... But then again, who requires goods? That's the problem, though. Reading requires goods. Um, Norwich requires goods. Any of my big cities? Liverpool does. Middlesbrough. But for machines, there's more cities that I'm currently connected to. I'm only swinging towards machines because of Birmingham. But let's be real with this, okay? We've got to be slightly real with it. Uh, and where we can kind of connect this all up. So it would make sense because between the two, I should be able to build a harbor here. And both of them connect. I've just got to somehow bring oil into there. Now, where's my closest oil industry that I could build? So, oh, in Birmingham, of course. But we are currently producing fuel. But I'm not really sending the fuel anywhere right now. I forgot about the oil over there. Uh, we have a cup of some oil over here. So we need to bring refined oil in there. Oh, there's a refined oil plant. There's oil. Right, we're on to a winner, baby. We're on to a winner. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to reverse engineer this. And we'll work backwards. 
So we'll try and create some goods. And we'll slightly work backwards right now. So we'll build the harbour here. Sail it round. The only reason I'm doing that because it just makes... It's a short distance. Not too many problems. So by default, once I get this all up and running, we'll be transporting steel over before the plastic. Right. Let's do this, baby. Let's. This is going to be quite interesting. We, we're getting ships, boys. Fishing ships. Right. We need a cargo harbour. Right. Spin this right round. And we're going to get it connected to the road. And that is glorious. Okay, so first things first, we're going to edit it because I need the larger dock on it. So cargo-wise, large dock. Now, we'll, we'll build it as if we're going to do two. Actually, let me, let me delete that. There we go. We, we've got two landings either side. If we ever need to, ever need it, we've got it. We've got it, boys. So that's set up there beautifully. It looks like a little man. Legs, arms, and a head. <laughs> it looks like a Minecraft dude, doesn't it? Right, now I've got to try and get these two connected. This is where the, the real challenge is going to begin. Because you have to get them connected via a road network. Now, it's going to be fun. Trust me, it's going to be fun. Um... Uh, We'll pick here, and then we'll go... We'll pause. We'll go across, because I've got to try and shorten the distance. So we'll initially try that with land. We'll initially try it with some land. And hopefully we can get it all connected. So let's first work with the roads, then. So if I had the road... First, going down here. I don't know if this is going to actually work now, thinking about it. I think we might be a little bit too far away on both of these. Hmm. So I've also got to try and get these connected here. Now, if I just delete this road... Because the resort, there's like little tricks of the trade you can pretty much do. I can bring this down as a tunnel. So we connected. And then that like that. Does the trick of the trade make this now connect? So if I was to get the shipping route down. Oh no. <gasps> okay, it connects there. But we don't get to there until over there. So there's a void. There's a complete and utter void in the middle. Right. This is the challenge we've now got. So when it comes to building this, can we put buildings on it? We can put buildings on it so we can spread it out. And that's hopefully how the magic is now going to work. So you're going to see the world's largest shipping harbour. That's what you're about to see right now. You're about to bear witness to the world's largest shipping harbour. So putting that there, it connects to none. Okay, it currently connects to none. So if I now edit it to add in some passenger buildings. So you need the miscellaneous for the landing. Okay, right, we got it. So if I go one, two, three, one two three still not connected to any just yet but then with the entry points there oh right, that road needs to be slightly adjusted so let me configure this first then and you there so road is connected now oh i pressed the wrong button <laughs> he's pressed the wrong button baby and then just like that, the two industries are now connected to the world's longest dock. Right, it works. Don't judge. Don't judge. It works. So with the world's longest dock, um, I can also utilize it to kind of bring more stuff down if I really wanted to. It depends on how far you want to take it. But cargo-wise now, we need large landings. And if I did one there, one there... And one there. I've got multiple landings I can now pretty much use. So landing-wise, we'll drop them all in. It's a sight to see, isn't it, boys? It's a, it's currently a sight to see. So I can now set up a shipping route, which will bring the steel that this industry produces down to here, back and forth, and we'll make money. Then we're just going to set up the system for the oil. Oh, exciting. Exciting. So let's set this up first. A new line... So from here to here, 
It's just that simple. Now, this will change the color as well. We'll make it blue for the water, baby. Uh, and we'll change this to our... So, it's, it's our IP switch port to Canterbury. So, IP uh, switch... Um, we'll call it port to Canterbury port. There we go. Easy enough to understand. So, we do need a, uh, a harbor for these ships. And I'll place this over here. Why don't I just keep it all in the house? So we'll place it just there. And we will now buy a vehicle for it. So it's got to be a cargo ship. And we've got quite a few variations and options. But it needs to transport steel and, and plastic. So this Virgo Tobo, is that the biggest capacity of um, 326? It is. Carries both of them, plastic and steel. So we'll only buy one, and then set it on its way. So for the first time ever then, this should now start producing steel. And where's the steel? Aha, there's the steel. We have steel, baby. We have steel. So give it time to flourish, and hopefully we'll make some big stonks. Hopefully we'll make some big stonks. And again, hopefully this can keep up with demand as well. We'll come back a little bit later to see how off-balanced it is and adjust where we need to. So that's good then. We're only 50% of the way there now to producing goods. So we got to think about setting up the oil run. So again, we're going to reverse engineer it. We're going to build it backwards. And we need to bring the refined oil into the plastics. But then we also need to set up a system of how a train line can also pass through all of this. Utilize stations. And then access the oil over here. Now I've got an idea for this, which re does require me pausing the game. We'll delete you, delete you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this from there to there. To there to there. Right, all gone, all gone, all gone. Buildings-wise, we need a cargo station. And... Right, we need it... About here. Well, let, me, let me flip it around. Let me, let me do that again. So if I build it about, it's got to be slightly off as well for bypassing routes. About there. About there. Now all I needed to do is have this road here connect to it. That's that's literally all I needed to do. So if I bring this road cutting across. Now that station touches that. Perfect. Now, with these train lines, we're going to kind of configure the station. Uh, tracks. And then you go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we'll go... Do I do, should I do another set? Because I feel like the trains are going to be super long. Right, we'll extend it down this way a little bit further. Yes. Then platform-wise, obviously, it needs to be all cargo. And I'll explain exactly what's going to happen here right now. So we've got to upgrade that little bit of track in the middle. We'll sort that in just a moment. So what happens is we have the normal train track that did once exist going in directly into here, which I'm actually going to delete just to there so I can get a better run. For the train tracks so that goes to there you go to there and then from this side you're into there you're in directly to there so they can still do what they've got to do they just have to use the bypassing train tracks in the middle of the cargo train station right now 
We're going to set it up, and I don't need to have the actual trains interact, the cargo trains, with the passenger line at all. So we're going to have this line on this one side come down so far, and then literally turn out, which you actually need to kind of go down this way, turn out to go down there. So that line does not have to interact with anything. It just allows me to kill two birds with one stone here on the same line. And that'll go one train back and forth here, picking up the um, refined oil and dropping it off at the plastics factory. Now, for this one, this side, again, it doesn't have to interact with anything. It just has to come out and then pretty much turn and skadoodle off in the direction, which will go pick up the crude oil and drop it down. The two trains, or the three trains, if you include the passenger line, never share the same line. They never interact with one another. They're never going to get tripped up on one another either. So it just allows everything to be as free flown as possible, all going through the cargo station. Sometimes, guys, I am a genius. <laughs> only sometimes, though. Only sometimes. So I need to have a station here. And then the station down here is literally all it's utilizing for is a drop-off point. It's just going to be a drop-off point uh, for the cargo for the factory. So nothing else is needed. Doesn't need to be fancy. Doesn't need to be crazy. That's all it needs to do. And uh, that pretty much works. So I'm just now going to set up a system where I can hopefully collect both of these oil wells in one station. So the train's going to come from here. It's probably going to pass there. So it's going to kind of bend around and pass. I wonder if I kind of try and build this now while it suggests. So this is what it suggests to, to do. So big bridge. I don't know if I kind of want to build a big bridge. I mean, I don't mind. We've got money to burn. Well, not really, but... <laughs> We'll do it because we get to keep the speed. We get to keep the speed rather than going down and then back uphill slightly. And then in the middle here, using our road. So if I just build like that. Now, does that road connect stuff? It actually connects Grimsby by a, via a road to Sheffield. And I don't want to do that because we'll start getting vehicle traffic coming down. So building-wise with our train stations now, I've got to... We'll do it super long, but we've got to uh, now connect up the two oil wells. Now, we could potentially do this without doing anything, which we do. Glorious. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together, boys. I love it when a plan comes together. So like that, and because there's only going to be one train going back and forth, I don't need to do any bypassing routes, or like I said earlier, anything crazy. It just, it, it is what it is. It gets from point A to point B. All good. All good. Now, the only thing that I will do, the only thing that I will do right now is allow these lines to all connect to one another, because I'm going to set up just doing that there. I'm going to set up the train depot just on this line here. Just so I can buy the two trains for these two lines. So bringing you in. And that's it. That's all I need to do. So scrap that off for a minute. And we'll first buy the train. It goes from here to there. Just to kind of get it out of the way. So again, we're going to go diesel to begin with. Uh, cargo wise, you need the big oil tankers, which is going to transport the crude oil in our case. And I'll only do a 60 capacity for now and just see how we get on. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, actually, thinking about it right now, I've got no money, so I can't do anything. Right, okay, we'll wait till some money comes in. So we're going to do a small capacity going back and forth there because it's such a short distance and do a large capacity going from here down to there. And then without me doing anything else then, that will then produce plastic, which will automatically put it on the harbour here and ship it over. So I ain't got to do anything else. Once I buy those two trains, it's all complete. I am a genius. So I think this is now transporting, for the first time still, it's transporting um, the steel. Because <laughs> I've had it in pause the whole time. So we'll just wait for some more money to come in right now. 
or just wait for some more money. Which technically we should be making more money than we've ever done because of the additional capacity we've now got on all of our train lines. So the route to Brighton, we did have an extra train on it. So hopefully that train has just came from there, which is already completely maxed out. Where's the next train coming? Here's the next train here, which is maxed out. We might need a fourth train on this route, looking at it. It does look a little bit crazy, doesn't it? Now, does anybody pick anybody up? It unloaded one person. Cambridge is like, he's going mental. Because nobody can get transported. It picked up one person as well. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. But again, like I said, once we get the capacity right on these train lines, then hopefully the trains are not as full and we can start transporting more people. Here's the other one. This one hasn't got full capacity right now, but it'll get pretty filled up once it hits these two stations. But it's a good thing to have. You rather have your trains always full than have them always half full because you know you're always making maximum money obviously granted you might not make money often when they're always full because they could fully load there and not make money until they get to there but you just made the maximum money on the line uh, anyway 13 million now coming in right we should be able to buy that first train so diesel bam cargo um like i said we'll do a 60 capacity and hopefully that was should see us through so buy you Oh, I didn't, I didn't do the lines. I didn't do the lines. Oh, I'm such a fool. I'm such a fool. So there to there. And we'll change this to a dark... No, we'll make them black. The color of oil, baby. That black gold. Right, this is our... Um, it's We call it our oil. Hmm, what do I call it? Oil... No. No, 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 no. Why am I calling my other stuff? I'm naming it all after places, aren't I? Well, it's going to Ipswich. Should we call it our Ip Switch Oil? Is what I'm going to call it. Easy enough, right? And then another new line from here to over here. Now, this is going to Norwich with crude oil. So I'm going to call it our Norwich crude oil but i'll also make this line black as well because it's part of our oil network okay we now have the two lines created so i'll put this train and our first one which is our ipswich oil so once that's gone through there's no space to buy the second train and no issues no problems we'll be making money always so how is the money looking right now so looking at our income how high the bars are for income based on all the other years. We're a lot higher. We're going to be pushing soon 100 million a year. That's going to be really good. Now, let's just find out how much is it going to cost us to buy the cargo train of my dreams. A 200 capacity big... No, a 240 capacity big boy. We need 31 million, okay? We're going to go for a 240 capacity big boy. And we need 31 million to be able to do it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now, bus routes. The Reading Loop, we have two buses. We need to change the buses on some of these routes to have a larger capacity. So these have a large capacity of 26. Versus, I don't know what their current capacity is, but they're 136 years old. Alright, let's switch those up then, boys. They'll be able to carry more passengers now. Where's the second one? It's all the way over there. Alright, big stonks. Big stonks. Big stonks. Now, if that problem's happening in the small town of Reading, that's going to be happening in other towns as well. So the Oxford Loop will replace these puppies. So we're just going for capacity over anything else at the moment. That's all we do in. So that bus now is 
Oh, there's so many people to pick up. We might even need a third one, but we'll see how the larger capacities get on first. We'll see how the larger capacities get on. So an extra nine people per per bus can be picked up on each loop. It's crazy to think in like these small towns right now, the bus routes are struggling. Right, this is this this route is definitely gonna need um a second bus. One hundred percent, I can tell from the get go. Uh, over here. That looks like a tank. What's going on? <laughs> it looked like a tank, didn't it? It holds 25, though. So to 26, it's not really going to do much of a difference. So we'll give him a second bus. Where's the bus coming from? All the way over here. Damn. Right, bus route around here. Yeah. Where's the depot? Oh, the it's going to have to come from the same place as the depot, but that's okay. It honestly looks like a tank. Let me let me look at this. Oh, it's that pointy thing at the front. Makes it like a like a turret. Cuz that is safe, isn't it? That bus is safe, isn't it, boys? Oh my goodness, it looks like a tank, doesn't it? Uh right. Manage replace with the big boy. And duplicate. So this is not really going in my favor because I'm spending money when I'm trying to save the money right now. Now, what places didn't I sort out? We sorted out all of these. We sorted out Oxford, right? Yeah. Uh, did we do Brighton? No. It also has a tank on here as well. So let's sort this out. Manage vehicles. Replace. Duplicate, duplicate, and uh, a duplicate, baby. So, Canterbury. Now, a lot of these bus routes were originally created when the city was smaller. So, you can tell right now with Canterbury that the city's now expanded further than where the current bus routes stop. But they still are within the catchment area anyway. So, it's not like we're completely out of the way. So, replace and duplicate. Nice. Now, I feel like London's going to be a big issue as well. Yeah. But we have kind of made the traffic die down a lot. So we do have more space for movement. We don't have... Wait, what's going on here? Nobody... Oh, nobody's for the uh, the reverse loop. But it, it depends where you're coming from. So if I check out both those routes right now. On the London loop 1 and 2. There is a big... Hang on, how many routes have I got selected here? There's a little bit of a mishmash right now between vehicles. Oh, no, there isn't. It's because I had the other routes selected. So if I just straight up replace them with these bad boys, they have a higher capacity straight away without adding any more vehicles to it. We'll just see how they get on with them. Right. I should really be saving money. I should really be saving money. That's got 26 on board. Right, no more expansions yet. I gotta save money for this oil line because this line here is just making no cash. No cash. Right, how's this doing right now in terms of finances? So we gotta wait for it to make the big bucks. And that's when it also starts transporting the plastic as well. But we, like I said, we need 31 million. 31 million, baby. So hopefully we're gonna start seeing even slightly higher numbers as we now got new buses on the routes. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting, boys. It's exciting. We could potentially also need additional trams in Birmingham. We really could. We really could. Right, guys, fast forward, please. I need money. <laughs> <coughs> As I slowly choke, we need more money. So how is this doing now then? Where's the balance? The balance is we probably still need more coal. So it could be a case of we need to add an additional gondola on. 
and we'll see how we get on with that. I'm spending money again, guys. Can someone take my credit card away from me? I can't stop spending cash. I honestly can't stop spending cash right now. Right, 18 million. We need 31. We need 31 million, boys. So, uh, investments. Oh, no. Is this now where we find out? It's just vehicles. It's just vehicles. I was going to say it for a second. Is this where we find out our road network is absolutely astronomically expensive? It's just our vehicles. <laughs> I've got a lot of them. I've got a lot of them. Right. Waiting for the big bucks. So this train's about to come into London right now. There's a lot of people waiting at the station on the one side. Didn't drop... Did it make any money? What's going on there? I think it did. It just didn't pop up and go ding. How dare you? Honestly, how dare you? Right, in Birmingham right now. 2.4 million that, that ride just made. So that's our Birmingham to Bur uh, Bournemouth route, which is not really that higher capacity. It's the one to Brighton, which really is. That's got a lot of people on board. It's made 1.6 million. And then should go back with a load of more people on board. It might go back full. It does. Wow. Very good. Very good. All these millions, but I still don't have the 31 million I need right now for my oil route for cargo. It's a sad, sad day. A sad, sad day. <laughs> anyway, how is Scarborough doing? This will be interesting. Oh, we've actually, they've actually filled in a lot of the nuts and crannies and gaps. Now, since we added... Oh, it's actually dying. Since we added the train station, look at the... Tra you can see there, it's like when the Manchester station got added versus when their own station. Now, the reason that it went skyrocket... Not the Manchester, sorry. The reason it went skyrocket with the Leeds is because they could drive to Leeds, which gave them a little bit more destination. But then once they get their own actual train station, they've just gone... Vroom. <laughs> they've quadrupled in size. No, sorry, they've doubled in size. They've quadrupled since the start. They've doubled in size since their own train station got founded. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, what's going on with my money? It feels like my money's just not even growing at this point. Have I just like literally spent my bills? Guys, I would like some more cash, please. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. Now that definitely made money because it unloaded. Not all the time it pops up. Off it goes, boys. Off it goes. Right. Oh, 30, 31 million. We've got it. Hopefully my bills don't get spent before I can buy all this. Right, cargo. Oil tankers. I want a 240 capacity. I know it seems a bit overkill. Oh, no. I don't have the money. I had it for a split second. Memories when I had 31 million. 29 that 23 that's gone the wrong way that seriously went the wrong way right now not happy about that not happy about that all right 26 how long are we gonna wait right now until we get that sweet sweet cash Twenty-eight, thirty. Come on, we're close. There we go. All right, finally, we can get this route up and running. So, Ipswich oil. No, it's crude oil. Right, that train will now do the magic. So, those pla this platform over here right now should now start getting fully loaded with lots and lots of oil, which it already is. Nice. Now, this has a knock-on effect, because now we get the oil. Well, we get the crude oil, gets refined into oil. So we make money here. That train going back and forth will then make money, which means we produce plastics, where plastics then get loaded onto the ship, and the ship makes more cash. 
So already it's not doing great. We got a little bit more we got to do right now to we got to transport a little bit more. Now we could also argue we need to bring over more goods here, but it's all dependent on how far we can kind of push it. So this won't level up until our shipment numbers are up. And that'll also be making more destinations. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the coal is okay. Because there's also not going to be much left on the platform. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Right, what does this train pick up then? On its first journey, in its first job, it's picked up... Wow! Only 101 more needed to be fully maxed out. That's glorious. So, I'm interested to find out then how much it actually makes on a journey. Now, obviously, it's not maxed out. It's not full cargo. So, we're not going to get the full amount of money. But we're going to get an idea, roughly, where we'll be at. Now, it's gaining the speed. 54. 55. Still 55. Oh, no, 56. <laughs> As it now comes in. So, not too too long of a journey, to be honest with you. Main thing is it stayed at the same level. Uh, or a gradual incline. So, it didn't stress the train out too much. Right, how much do you make here? 3.4 million. That's an, once it's filled up, that's an easy $5 million train. Now, this is going to start producing oil. Which, you can see the oil now... Stacking up. I don't think this train managed to pick anything up, did it? No. So we are so close to producing plastic. That drops off again. Ships on its way back. Oh, it's so close for getting plastic. So this train right now, its next journey will contain plastic because this train's now about to come and pick up. So how much does it pick up then is the question. 39. 39 boys. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So the first time ever then, this is actually going to make money. How much though? Probably not that much. It's only a really, really short journey. Where's the ship? The ship's coming in. Or oh, it might only have like a handful of plastic it's going to have on board. Right, come on boys. Drop it off. There we go. So, nearly half a million. Not bad. Long way to go to make cash, though. And is it now... There we go. Two plastic so far. Where's the plastic? Can we see the plastic? Oh, I think... No. I think it's completely filled up with uh, steel right now. The plastic's kind of slightly hidden. Right. How much plastic can we get on? Right. In the ship comes. There's currently ten on the platform. On the dock. So, not much more, but it managed to get 13 plastic on, which the plastic industry is a free-tiered system, as opposed to, well, this, you could argue this is free-tier, because it's two different products you've got to bring in, but this is two different refinery processes, so it makes the oil, the oil kind of uh, industries quite valuable in that regards. Right. We'll keep an eye on that and wait for it to kind of get a little bit closer. We're now producing lots of uh, oil, baby. That train's already here. It would be interesting to see if that even actually makes a profit. Because it's, it's such a short distance and they're not fully maxed out with each journey. Same with that. Now, what I could also do, because we have this old whole industry over here, but we're producing fuel. Which fuel could be delivered to Sheffield, but also to Birmingham. Oh, no, sorry. Fuel over here delivered to Sheffield as well. I could also bring another train load coming down this way as well, if I really wanted to max it out. 
But we see what happens. So this next time round is producing a little bit more. We've got three large tankers now filled up. So it swings and roundabouts, baby. Swings and roundabouts. Right, here we go. Here we go. Does those extra plastics make a difference? We're about to find out. So fringe Wow, it does. Now it's only ever so slightly higher, but you gotta remember right now, by the time it comes back. By the time it comes back, there's now 49 plastics to pick up. So we'll get there, boys. We'll we'll slowly get there. We'll slowly get there right now. We just gotta keep producing, boys. We just gotta keep producing. But this is one step closer to having a fuller network. We're definitely making more money. <clears throat> When you take a look right now, we, previous year was the first year we've ever had over 100 million in income alone. Granted, the expenses are super high, but have you seen how much money I've been spending lately? But look at how the revenue, the income, the blue bars, if I spread it over the last 50 years, the steady rise, the steady increase, and a big jump up to where we currently are now. Amazing boys. Amazing. And I feel like this this year might be even higher than the previous year. With the way it's currently going. That's just broke a hundred million. Now a hundred and two. So hundred million dollars in revenue a year, baby. This is looking really, really good. Lots of goods to pick up right now. There's 190 odd on the platform. Wow, and it's got a lot of capacity as well, this ship. So it's got a lot to pick up. It's got a lot to pick up right now. This has still got goods coming in. We've got to wait for the shipment transport numbers to increase on that. Right, I don't reckon this is making much of a profit though, is it? Oh, it's borderline. I'll take borderline. I'll take borderline. Very good. Boys, the company's expanding. We've got record high income, record high profits, but I'm also having record high spending. Until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.